happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I just got done walking my doggies. I got my hands warmed up so they're not like white anymore because I have my notes. And so when it's really cold, my hands like turn like dead white. Like I have like no blood in my fingers. It's like the craziest thing. Sometimes I have to run them under hot water for like five minutes to get all the blood black back in them. But luckily, my fingers are not numb today. So yay, that's so exciting. So what I want to talk to you about today is finding your power. What do I mean by finding your power? Well, we all have a source of power that's inside of us. Some people call it their higher self, their soul, you know, kind of that part of them that's connected. Um, you know, I consider it my connection to God or my soul. Also sometimes refer to it as my higher self. Like what you choose to call that source of power is not important. It's just, you just need to know that it's there. And so we've all experienced times, I know I have, where I just feel super connected, life is flowing, like I'm in, I call it being in the zone. You know, everything is just going well for you. There's like nothing you can't handle. Anything that bounces your way, you're like, I got this, right? You're in a great space. And that's really when you're connected to your power, right? But then there's times when you kind of lose that connection. You may feel anxious. You might feel really stressed out. You might feel like you really want to drink. You might feel like you want to go eat some chips. Like you're just in this place where you just have this disturbed energy and you're totally not in your power. And it sucks. Like, because you could have been completely in your power 10 minutes ago and nothing even really happened to change that, but now you're not in your power. And you're like, okay, this sucks, right? You're like spinning in this place. You like don't, you don't want to be in this place where you don't feel good. You might feel like you have a knot in your stomach. Um, you're just not connected to your power. You can't seem to get back to your higher self. Like your mind's cloudy. You're just like, what the heck happened? Like I was in a good place and now I'm not. And there's not even a reason for it, right? It's not like you got a disturbing phone call or, you know, somebody told you that somebody was ill in your family, like literally from one moment to a few moments later, you're no longer in your power and you just have like this naughty feeling, this knot in your, in your, in your gut. And you just like, don't know what happened. So it's like, how do you find your way back to that power? Um, it's, you know, there's a lot of ways, a lot of people will just like go watch the TV and try and just zone out and like want this uncomfortable feeling to go away. Um, that's the way actually probably a large percentage of the world, probably the majority of the world handles things. They just want to check out, right? Get your phone out, start scrolling Facebook, start reading the news, start doing whatever, right? Like just distract yourself from the fact that you don't, you're no longer in your power and you don't feel good, right? You feel like crap. Um, so I a little bit have had a little bit more productive way of handling that. Like I was diving into my Bible, journaling, you know, meditating. I know there's a lot of people, spiritual people that will dive into like those positive tools. And I, you know, seriously taking all the positive actions, like, let me read the Bible. Let me pray. Let me meditate. Let me, let me do all these things. Let me journal. Let me try and like get rid of this feeling. Right. And so that's kind of like been my go-to Well, I was working with my coach the other day. My coach is so awesome. Y'all having a coach is like, <laughs> especially if you have the right coach, it's just like the most amazing thing ever. Um, it is, and she really helped me with this. So she, I was in this place and she's like, I sense that you're feeling off. And I was like, yes. She like always seems to know that. And I said, I'm in this place where I was doing fine earlier today. Everything was good. I was flowing. And now I have this like knot in my stomach. Like I feel like I've lost my point of power. So she's like, okay, well, you know, what feeling are you feeling? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just feeling icky, right? Just feeling icky. Just don't like it. It's anxious. It's, it's this, right? So she's like, all right, I don't believe it's really anxious. You know, like breathe into it. What are you really feeling, right? So I closed my eyes and like breathe into it. She's like, don't make something up. Like wait for your body. She's like, your brain's going like crazy. Wait for your body to tell you what it is that it's feeling, right? So the feeling I came up with was despair and like, y'all, I don't have any reason to be in despair. And so like my brain wanted to fight, like you have no reason to be in despair. So I told her, I said, it's despair. 
And she's like, okay. And what are you making that mean about yourself? And I was like, what? She's like, what are you making that mean about yourself that you're, you're feeling despair? Hi, Bosh. I'm great to see you. So happy you joined. Yay. So she's like, what are you making that mean? And I was like, well, I make, nobody wants to be around a depressing person and that means I'm a depressing person and I'm telling myself that I don't have any reason to feel despair and so if I don't want to be a depressing person, I need to stop it. <laughs> and she's like, okay, so you're making the fact that you're currently feeling despair mean that you're a depressing person that no one wants to be around. And articulated like that, it sounds so ridiculous, right? But this is what we do to ourselves. Like we feel a feeling that we don't think is justified in our brain. And then we tell, we make it mean something about us that's negative, And so we want to stick the lid on it. So she's like, why are you making that mean that? I'm like, I, you know, I don't know. Right. So here I am like making up a story that because I was feeling despair, which really was no outward reason to feel despair, that it meant I was a depressing person that nobody wanted to be around. <laughs> it sounds so silly. I'm laughing. But y'all, I promise you, if you dive into like the feelings that you're having, instead of like getting a glass of wine or watching TV or scrolling your phone, you will also have this kind of a laugh about yourself as well. So she's like, okay, so you're not a depressing person. You need that right now? Oh my gosh. Yay! You know what? I was not going to talk about this topic and I was and something told me like talk about it anyway. Somebody needs to hear this, right? So I am so happy that you needed to hear this. I'm so happy you needed to hear this. So instead of you feeling something and you telling yourself it's not justified and making it mean something about yourself, which is always something negative about yourself and how you're unacceptable, right? That's what we do. We judge ourselves and tell us that tell ourselves that we better not feel that way because no one will want to be around us, right? Okay, I will. Yes, I will. I'll keep doing it. Yeah, and telling us that nobody will want to be around us. Like instead of saying that, just be like, okay, I'm a person that at the moment is feeling this particular emotion and just acknowledge the emotion. Like I am a person that at this particular moment in time am feeling despair. It doesn't mean anything. It just means it's an emotion that passed by just like a cloud, right? Like if a, if a gray cloud passed by and, and you know, it looked like it could be a rain cloud, but it wasn't a rain cloud, but it was just a gray cloud. You wouldn't make it mean anything about you. Like, Oh my gosh, why did this gray cloud pass over me? I must be a bad person. No, there's just a gray cloud passing through the sky and it's going to keep moving with the wind. And so you can do use that same thing with your feelings and question, you know, what is it you're feeling and, and really just be still and breathe into it and not make it mean anything about you at all. Like it sounds like the most simplest thing in the world, but let me tell you, when I got on the call with her, I had this like huge knot in my stomach and just like, you know, that this thought's not a problem, that it's just like a passing cloud and it's okay that it shows up. Like, I felt so much lighter. I was like, oh my gosh, like it doesn't have to mean anything. And that's how we find our power, right? We lose our power when we attach to a feeling that we're having and we assign a meaning to it and normally a negative meaning about us <laughs> right otherwise it wouldn't be coming up as a problem but we get that we 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 lose our power we give our power away when we do that when we make it mean something about us this, this feeling coming up instead of just saying, huh, despair. That's interesting. Why is that here? And not make it mean anything. Just get curious. Why did you show up? And by questioning ourselves and by questioning feelings that pop up that are negative, heck, even positive, you might be laughing your head off. I don't know why we take our power back. We take our power back and we allow ourselves 
to really be in the moment, to be present, and to really keep our power to create what we want to create in the world. Because we have no power to create what we want in the world when we are out of control and running away from feelings that can't hurt us. I know I made a post earlier today and someone said, oh, they don't deal with their feelings. They just drink alcohol. And I said, you're, you're robbing yourself of your dreams. And they said, they said that they weren't. They're lying to themselves. If you're hiding your feelings with alcohol or drugs or Netflix or anything else, you are robbing yourself. You may think, well, I have a good life and, and my, you know, my business is successful. I'm not robbing myself, but how much more successful would it be? How many, how much better would your relationships be? How much better would your life be if you weren't robbing yourself? If you were allowing yourself to process your feelings and, and deal with your stuff, how much better could it be? If it's already good and you're doing that, wow, like it, it could, you could just be so off the charts, right? It's easy to look at people and say, well, if your life's crap, then that's, that's only a problem for you. But it's a problem. Yeah, if your life's crap, it can definitely be a heck of a lot better. But if your life's good and you're doing those things, whew, man, to the moon you can go. Hey, Sabrina. Great to see your little face pop up on here. <laughs> great to see your little face. Yeah, so how much better could it be? So for the person who commented, I'm not going to even call out the person's name because I don't remember it right now, and the point isn't to publicly shame somebody. The point is that if you think that giving your power away to alcohol and Netflix and, and your cell phone and, and everything else um, is okay because your life is still good, think of how much better it could be because you are robbing yourself and eventually you're going to flush your health down the toilet and then you're really going to see where you robbed yourself. But I don't want that for anybody, right? Like I really want, the reason I'm making these lives and I, and I get on here is because I want, I want y'all all to have an amazing life. I want you all to reach the potential that you have and to create the thing that God put you on this earth to create. Cause there's only one of you, right? There's only one of you. You came into form in a special little unique package and there's something that only you can do. And I want you to do that, right? So that's why I'm here. That's why I make these lives. That's why I talk about the stuff that I talk about. And that's why I'm so passionate about finding your power. And I'm passionate about it to even share my story about feeling despair for no reason and, you know, trying to <laughs> stamp it down by reading the Bible and praying and meditating and stuff. Like, I'm sharing my experience to show you that I go through the same things. And when I learn and when I grow, that that is also available for you as well. So take your power back. Be willing to get curious about those feelings that create knots in your stomach or create anxiety or stress for you to find out what it is that your body is actually trying to tell you. And, and allow that feeling to be there and allow it to pass. And take your power back from the random feelings that seem to attack you every day. Because you have something amazing to create in this world. And I want to make sure that you make it happen. So if you're ready to create a life that you actually want to live instead of one that you want to run away from. Text Moon to 90407 and book a call with me and see what it's like to work with a coach. Me, specifically as a coach, and see if we're a good fit. You can also DM me if you are someone who either doesn't want to text 90407 and get a link to my calendar, or if you're out of the country and texting 90407 is not going to do anything for you where you live. Okay? So I look forward to talking to you and helping you create a life that you actually want to live with all the imp income and all the impact and all the harmonious relationships that you dream of and that you desire. Lots of love to you. Wishing you a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. We'll check in.